<laughs> so, so just prior to starting, I'd like to acknowledge this is the first time the board has presented since the terrible occurrence at both mosques and the Al Noor Mosque is in the Rickerton ward. So I want to mention this terrible event and acknowledge the effort that the Mayor and Council has made. I think it's been handled extremely well and you had superb support from central government. So, um, so we've certainly appreciated the efforts made. So I just want to start um, today to follow on from that with some steps our board has taken. We've formed a local response fund of 10,000. Any applicant can apply if they're there to help and support the Muslim community or local neighbours. And we've had two applications so far. Um, one is that we're having an AGM with the Deans Avenue precinct tonight, and we've been able to organise a facilitator, facilitator in case there's a lot of neighbours turning up and in case there's a lot of distress. The facilitator will ask them what support do they want going forward. Um, and the other application we've had, and both have been approved, is from the Canterbury Muslim S Students Association, and they are wanting to provide self-defence for Mus Muslim women. Um, and there's a loss of security that Muslim women are feeling. Um, some are a long way from home and studying in a strange, strange country. So those are the two... Um, application so far, and we expect to, to actually receive more. Um, this, this was a barbecue, actually, which was held, again, um, coming from staff funding. Uh, it was to reach out to the local community, which we did. Interestingly there, the, the, the people in a hijab were actually tourists who were passing by and saw this actual <coughs> event and stopped. So they were actually from, from Malaysia. So um, in terms of attendance, we got about 30 people. Um, they tended to be neighbours in that area. I don't think we got many people directly affected by the attack on the mosque. Uh, the next one is a horse intellectual disability survey, which was done by a local horse group. Um, I'll just skim over that. They just had a look at what people who were disabled wanted from their community. <laughs> the next one is, I'll dwell a bit more on this, it's the Horsville Common. Um, this is the development of stage one of Horsville Commons. It was an exemplar project under the Land Use Recovery Plan. Um, it's, this is the first stage, there's 44 houses, and the yellow path there is the first stage. Um, in terms of what it's meant to do, it's meant to give high quality, safe housing, medium density, innovation within the housing market, diversity and affordability of housing pr products, and well-built well and energy efficient. So that's quite exciting. I actually looked up exemplar and tried to get a definition of it and I, there are some guidelines but there's no clear simple definition but this is the first one which is occurring. Um, I'll leave that one, I'll skim over that one and go on to the Rickerton Road upgrade. Um, that has been going for about a month it's for the area of Rickerton Road between Harakiki and Matapo Street. It's going well. Um, I'm on one of the side streets, Rata Street, to the left, going into town. I've had no complaints at all, either from individual residents or from the residents' associations. So it's going remarkably well. There's two-lane traffic. 
and the Fulton Hogan is meeting with people with concerns every week. So they have a standard time in which to meet. So um, I'm, I'm actually... Yes. No, there's more a place which people can actually go. It's, it's superb. So, and any of the concerns people had about large volumes of cars going down residential streets hasn't happened at this stage anyway. So, um, that's good. And the last one is the, um, it's just um, a hangout point for Hornby Youth. It's in the High High Community Centre. And that's, if you don't know High High, it's in the general Hornby area. And it's operating twice a week after school. So I'm just finishing with that. That's great. Thank you. Look, thank you. Are there any questions? Uh, Jimmy. Uh, hello, Hongbi, the kind of the local community event. That's a big success. I didn't hear from you the presentation. Yes. Uh, this year, 1,500 people, more than last year, 1,200 people. Yes, I uh, spoke to Matt, and he thought it, they had come, t it had been presented previously. Has it not? No, no, no. No, no, okay. May I have a comment? See, so, so it was very, very successful. Yeah. Yeah. A, a particular, you know, I do appreciate the staff. They installed the information store regarding to the consultation for the Taiopa classification and also management plan, the flyers. Mm. So a lot of people, you know, engage to ask what's going on. That's very good, very successful. Particular much better than uh, our traditional, you know, regular is uh, just set up store in the library of the community center regarding particular for the Hongbi houseware and the victim. They accumulate before only 20 people turn up. But this one is uh, more than 50 to engage. That's pretty good. So to grab the opportunity you know, to comply with the event the function is most important. Yeah. So I'm happy to move. Happy to move. Okay. Do I have a seconder? I've got the other members of the community board. Yanni. Um. Uh, I just wanted to acknowledge thank you to the board for responding to the events that have happened, and I was really, it was really nice to see what you've done in that regard, so I appreciate that. I did love the photograph of the wee girl yes. feeding the ice cream to the police officer. It was just um, it was lovely. But um, no, I think there's going to be a lot of... Uh, well, a lot of occasions where we we're going to reflect on the incredible courage of a lot of people um, on that day, mm. and uh, and also uh, the, the the love and support of the community surrounding the mosque as well. So thank you for for bringing that up. Uh, it's very thank much you, appreciated. Um, so it's been moved and seconded. I'll put that motion. All those in favour, say aye. aye. Those opposed, say no.